and welcome back to my film and TV channel. You're all staying safe and well. And we've got a, a prison drama that's back for a second season, although it's set in a totally different prison, which uh, always keeps things fresh, isn't it? But uh, having said that, series one, I wanted to, I wanted a little bit more of it. So a bit disappointing that we didn't get a continuation of that, but uh, understandable. A change of tack. I've got all over to the BBC for this one. It's called. Uh, you may have watched season one. If you haven't, uh, you don't necessarily need to have watched that to watch this. There, there is a link or two, but uh, uh, it doesn't affect the story really in any way. So we're going to have a look at Time Season 2 or Series 2 because we're here in the UK. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything, film and TV, of course, uh, reviews, information, vlogs, previews, lots of different things. So uh, it'd be great to have you on board. And if you can spread the word, even better. I'm, as I'm recording this, I'm approaching three and a half thousand subscribers. So if you can push me up to that and beyond, I'll be very grateful. Any likes and thumbs ups? Thanks, guys. Uh, there, that'd be great. Right, all episodes are now on iPlayer of this. Uh, there's only three, uh, so <laughs> not a lot, and they're available uh, for up to 12 months. So up to, certainly up to the end of October 2024. And this runs. Uh, individually if you like watching it just week by week if you don't want to binge watch from the 29th of October to the 12th of November on BBC One and they run for about 58-59 minutes yes don't, don't get any adverts in the BBC do we and it's about a struggling single mother Orla who finds herself in a desperate situation after being sent to Carlingford Prison there she meets Kelsey, a young heroin addict, and Abby, a tough lifer, who uh, killed her baby. We find out a bit more about that as the series uh, progresses to its, uh, its penultimate and its conclusion. This stars Jodie Whittaker. Yes, she's not Doctor Who anymore, of course, as all. One of my favourites, uh, Jodie. I don't think he's the greatest actor in the world, but I just like her. Simple as that. Uh, Tamara Lawrence is Abby, a bit more on her in a bit. Bella Ramsey, another another one, another uh, actor. Uh, I thought he did a cracking job in The Last of Us, of course, uh, that she was in uh, as Kelsey. Siobhan Fenneran as Mary Louise. Lisa Millett as Prison Officer Martin. And Faith McKeever as Tanya, plus a few other despots and uh, stars as well in this one. So, as far as my thoughts, there's no scores on this, and it's obviously an internet movie database. It's the scores for the original series, and you can't really differentiate series two from series one. Uh, but my little thoughts on this, to sum up, whether it's worth a watch. I mean, series one, of course, was set in a male prison back in June 2021. It starred Sean Bean, of course, Stephen Graham. I look back at my review on that one and it scored a healthy 7.5 out of 10. Uh, I will put a link on the screen or a link in the details below if you want to uh, go back and watch my review on, on, the, on Series 1. And as I said, you don't need to watch this to enjoy this. Uh, and this time we've this time round, of course, we've got a woman's lockup. We've got a woman's prison. It's uh, yeah, unusual in its style. Uh, I assume these sort of places exist, but not, not what I really think of as a as a prison uh, or what a prison looks like to me but as I say I, I have no idea I don't know too much about it perhaps I have to find out a little bit more nice to see Bella Ramsey as I already mentioned in this after Last of Us appearance of course I thought she played very very well in that did a good role Saki youngster a uh, bit of an edge to her uh, she's a bit older in this she plays a bit of a grizzled character she obviously got mixed up in drugs with her, with her boyfriend who obviously uses her and uh, obviously she thinks it's love but it's not and uh, yeah it's a more grisly role she 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 does okay she does okay i wouldn't say she was outstanding but uh, she does okay in this not not spectacularly well but okay jodie whittaker as well as i've already said not the greatest actor i don't think but she's escaped from doctor who and uh, her range is always a little bit limited for me, but uh, she sort of copes well with the dark side of her character as well, uh, which comes out a lot in the in the three episodes. But of the three main leads, I think Tamara, Tamara uh, Lawrence does the best job. She copes the best, and I think she's uh, pretty outstanding in her, her sort of baby uh, killing troubled role, which as you can imagine must have must have put a lot of stress and uh, and pressure on her. But the stories are good, the stories remain good, uh, the sort of family side, the typical prison type story, if you like, that you know you're going to get some occasionally by the numbers, etc. But if you do like a, a, a good prison drama, then this is a good prison drama. Despite the mishmash, not just the actors I've talked about, but other actors as well, uh, they do range from... Um, mediocre to good acting but uh, it's a bit of a mishmash of acting talent as we do get in some British 
uh, drama series. I don't think it quite matched up to series one. I don't think it's up to the seven and a half out of ten level. But um, I wouldn't mind another ep episode or two, as I did I said on series one. I wanted it to be a bit longer than three episodes, and I certainly wouldn't mind it four, five, six of these as well. Uh, just to carry on, but uh, I'll give it a good score. I've got to be fresh if it was Rotten Tomatoes. If it was Metacritic, I'd be positive on it. And I'm going to give it a, a score a little bit down on last time, but I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Almost a 7, but I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. I'll just uh, say it's it's basic prison stuff, I think, basic drama stuff, which uh, uh, brought a tear to the glass eye at times and was quite gritty and powerful and hard to watch at times, which... Um, uh, a good prison drama by a certain gentleman who wrote it and the government should be I suppose thanks for watching guys until we meet again let me know what you thought of this let me know what you thought of this uh, it'd be great to hear from you until we meet again please stay safe everyone bye for now